I'm Larry Crane, and I've been mixing songs and albums for people from all over the United States and the world for over 20 years. Many of these sessions are unattended, but here's a glimpse into my process. What happens when you hire me to mix a song and you're unable to attend the session? I wanted to make a video to illustrate how I work so that artists and clients would understand better the techniques I use and the workflow involved. I'll download files for the session before the mixing date and check that everything looks in order if I have time. If the session is composed of raw files, I'll create a Pro Tools session for each song. First I will listen to a rough mix, if there is one, and make mental notes of issues that will affect the mixing process. If there is no rough mix, I'll make a quick mix on the console to get an idea of what the song is doing. With middle notes in mind, I'll work on cleanup and prepping jobs. I frequently use Isotope RX to clean up vocal tracks. Popped peas, background room noise, extraneous mouth noises, and more get removed or attenuated. Restorative EQ may be done in RX as well, and balancing out levels of certain words to retain clarity may occur. Drum tracks will be checked for phase problems and corrected. Then I will clean up the beginning and end of the drums in the song, as well as editing out dead space on tom tracks. All the time I'm working, I'll be keeping an ear out for bad edits, tuning glitches, extraneous noises, amp buzz and hum, and other problems that I can repair or attenuate. Sometimes instruments are unintentionally flamming and not hitting at the same time, so I'll fix this if I encounter it. Occasionally vocals will need tuning, and I'll carefully apply this to certain words and double check that there are no artifacts. I prefer to tune vocals as little as possible and keep performances feeling natural and real. I'll start coming up with a panning scheme as I set up the mix. As I work on the basic mix, I'll make note of all the processing that certain tracks may require. Vocals may need compression, EQ boost, de-essing, and effects like delay and reverb. Drums may require EQ and limiting, and parallel compression is frequently added with units like our EMI TG1 limiter. Reverb might be added via an outboard digital reverb, or even reamping the drum sound into our live room for a unique signature tone. Bass may need heavy compression and tone control to keep it in focus. Outboard tube-powered bass DIs or reamping might be used to bring the sound to life. Guitars and keyboards may need EQ, compression, reverb, or delays. Panning and stereo placement is key, and options will be tried out. Setting up solos to pop out where needed will be addressed, and tracks may be broken down into various pieces to be properly addressed at different parts of the song. Effects are very carefully chosen and set. Our EMT plate reverb is the real thing. Decay times are adjusted by remote control, and signals are carefully EQ'd going into and leaving the reverb. Real tape echoes may be added by recording new tracks of this effect back into the session, frequently in several passes to create cool stereo effects. The mix will be evaluated on several sets of studio monitors. Our ATC SCM25A monitors have 235 watts of power and clear details, but our classic Yamaha NS10s and Avant Tone mix cubes let me know if your mix will survive iPhones, car stereos, and the real world. I'll also check the mix on quality headphones. Yeah, the finished mix will be uploaded at the end of the session for review. Clients are asked to carefully review the mixes and send back a single document requesting the changes needed. This is the first pass of revisions, and this pass and a second one are included free in the job's price quote. Mix revisions utilizing the stems are done in the computer and become recallable at this point, allowing for fine tuning if needed. Once all mix revisions are done and signed off on, I'll send the final invoice. It's easily payable online, and once settled, I will upload the high resolution final main mixes. Thanks for being interested in how my unattended mixing process works. I've worked with many satisfied mix clients from all over the world for over 20 years, and I feel I bring my unique mixing talents to every project I work on. If you would like to discuss working together, drop me a line at larry at tapeop.com for more information and mixing rates.